we first became really aware of Boccia after the um, at the 2012 Olympics, um, and that was when we first saw it. Looked around Kent because I thought, oh, that's the sport I could do. And um, just before that, I'd just been a spectator in sports. So my husband and I looked around Kent. There was nothing really, but we did find a little club, social club, that they played a bit of boccia. So we went to there, that was down at Dover. Um, went down there, a few games of boccia, enjoyed it. Um, went a few times. On the way back one day, I said, there must be loads of people around Herne Bay who would like to play boccia. And to cut a long story short, we ended up going to the council offices, finding out whether we could get any assistance. We did, we found a hall. We were given a couple of bags of balls from Kent County Council, and off we went. And that will be 10 years ago on the 1st of March. From my point of view, I used to, used to play, unfortunately, my condition has deteriorated and I can no longer throw balls. I didn't want to be a ramp player. In the meantime, I did get into, well, I went on the courses, did the leaders course, did the referees course, did the coaching course. So I'm now more refereeing at the club and coaching and come along to various competitions as coach now. It is so rewarding since getting into Boccia and we have people come along, never really heard of it, see that it's a sport for disability, come along, Lots of times their confidence is on the floor because there's so much they can't do and we come along and tell them what they can do. They learn to play the game, we coach them, we bring them on, they come to competitions like this, they win medals, it doesn't matter whether it's singles, pairs or, or teams, they win medals, their self-esteem comes up so much and that just does so much for me. You know, the, you feel that you've helped them to achieve and people achieve that never thought they would achieve much and now they go home with medals it's a big buzz oh it is a big buzz so rewarding the whole thing is a feel-good factor I think boccia is a good game it's a good sport for people with any disability we've got I think out of the 11 of us now, we've got about eight different disabilities in our club. And when you see those and they all come together, everyone supports each other. They all love their club, fortunately, I think. <laughs> Unless I've told you differently no, today. No, 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 <laughs> but they seem to love their club. Everyone supports each other. And yeah, the, the whole thing, it is all about that support network in many different ways. Because if someone's got a problem, they can come to the club, they can say about it, everyone's there for them. And we've got a, a, a Herne Bay WhatsApp group, people come on there, we can phone each other, everybody is there for everyone else. And that makes me feel good because, in a way, th there's, it's because of myself and my husband starting the club that has brought these people all together to show that they can achieve, to bring up their confidence and to make friends the social aspect as well.